Okay, everybody, this is Blaster Toad here, and, um, yeah, a, not sure if he's a subscriber yet, but I'm sure he will be after this, but someone out in YouTube land has requested a bit of a, um, edit or change of something that we did to, um, better fit their game they're working on. And that is for the moving platforms. Okay. So, do do do. Nope, sorry, not the moving platforms. The um, conveyor platform. There we go. So, we're going to duplicate it. And we're going to call this player or er, uh, conveyor platform physics. So, Dino Raw, play, or Dino Raw plays is doing a um, golf style game and with our setup here it's um yeah it just adds to whatever is um adds a location to whatever enters the box Okay, so we add its location as soon as it gets out of the box, it stops adding location. So it hasn't add, hasn't actually added any velocity. Okay, so what can we do to change that? Well, let's, um, let's just get rid of add the world offset and what we want to do is so this here we are getting a group of actors so as anybody who's followed the tutorial or we'll just do a brief overview again every time this every time the game ticks we are going to get doo -doo -doo, what is inside this box okay so what's overlapping the box and then we are going to multiply the current time by units per second we want to be doing and then the forward vector blah 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 uh this units per second is going to end up screwing us up for this setup so we're going to get rid of that we're going to keep everything else. So we get rid of the add world local offset, get rid of the units per second multiplier. And what we're going to do is pull off our array element. And we are going to get root component. Okay. And this is assuming that our friend Dino Raw Plays is using a physics based ball for his game. So what we're going to do is get the root component so that we can address it directly and then we want to cast to primitive component and we're going to right click and do convert to pure cast right down here. Okay and what that does is it doesn't run a check on it. Okay it just assumes it is. So it'll only affect things that are overlap or Let's um actually not do a pure cast there. So we want it to only affect things that are primitive components. Okay. And then we want to, if this is successful, add force. And our target is this primitive component. And we are going to add the forward vector of our conveyor here multiplied by a value into force. Okay, so there we go. That That's really it. And for this here, we are going to try, say, 1000 and compile and save and do I still have the physics ball? 
moving platform, switch hazard. I think in switch hazards, I have a. Do I have a physics ball somewhere here? I'm sure I had a physics ball that I used for testing. Or did I delete that already? Oh, well, we'll make another physics ball. So, we'll get rid of our spawn point there. We are going to bring out our new... Oh, not falling hazard. We want to bring out our new conveyor platform physics. Okay. We give it some scale. Okay. Move it about a bit so that we know what's happening with it. And then we're going to pull out a sphere. Okay. And we're going to tell this sphere to simulate physics over here. So hopefully, if this is all functioning correct and everything's lined up, our sphere will be given velocity in that direction. And instead of playing, we are going to simulate. Are we seeing any force being added? No, so we're going to stop. We are getting no errors, though. So, let's go into our new thing, and we are going to want to do a print string. And we're going to say moving, and then off cast failed, we are going to print string, and we are going to get not moving. And now we can simulate again. Okay, maybe not, maybe we do have to play it. So we'll play. Ah. Because this is not an actor. That is what's happening. Okay. So we are going to make a new test actor. So this will be what our friend's ball should be. So we're just going to call this ball. And we are going to add component sphere. The sphere is going to be the root. And the sphere will simulate physics. That's all we need. That's it. That's our ball. Let's bring our ball out into the world. And when it drops in here, it should be pushed that away. And let's just simulate here. There we go. We are having force being added to the ball. And then when it gets out, it maintains that. Uh, however, you've got friction and whatnot set up. That will um, also change how it reacts and moves. But yeah. So that is now adding force in its forward direction, so in the direction of the arrow. And you can scale that force by a variable. Yeah, so drop it in and it is being added force. If we stop that and go to our physics platform and say this is like 5,000. Compile, save. We can see it starts gaining speed quite a bit quicker. And that's how you'd be able to add force to a physics object. So let's just do a brief overview. So what we've done is we've taken our conveyor platform, which previously was just adding to an actor's world space. So it's stepping it forward, okay? But once you leave, it's no longer stepping forward. It has no velocity. It has no change in speed. It is just being moved a step each time. Okay? On our new physics version of that, 
we, instead of getting the actor core, we get the actor, then get its root component. Make sure that root component is a primitive component. And then that primitive component we add force to. Okay? The primitive component must be simulating physics to add force. So if nothing's happening, or you're getting errors in the editor, it's probably because you have not clicked simulate physics. We then get the direction that the um, conveyor is facing. We multiply it by a value. We'd probably want to say, turn that into a variable like such, so that you can edit this from the outside. And then we put that into force for just how much force to add. Okay. If you are using a ball where you're making a shot and this might slide it, we want to add force to the current um, velocity, current trajectory of the ball. We do not want to do an acceleration change, okay? Because that could mess up how the ball is already moving. Okay, we just want to add another another force to it or another influence to the ball and not change the direction or influence of the ball. Okay, and that's um that's all you should need to do. So hope that's helped out Dino Raw Plays. And um, yeah, if you like the video or if it's helped out, please leave a like and please consider subscribing. Again, everybody please, if you have suggestions on what to do in the future, leave them in the comments or if you need help with something, leave it in the comments or drop by our Discord server. And I am working on the plan for two more tutorial series, so stay tuned for them. They're in the works, but I'm putting a lot more planning behind them so they don't end up like this last one. So, um, yeah, they are to come. They aren't going to be coming quickly, but they are to come. So, look forward to producing those for you, and hope you enjoy them as well. Bye for now.